Thanks a lot, Claire, for your kind words. Obrigado. And hello to all of you. At this moment, when you are celebrating the Wairport's 70th semi-anniversary in Lisbon, one of my favorite cities, I will be in the Middle East, in Israel. I had arranged to spend almost the whole month of July in Israel. I've been exploring how could I be physically with you, flying from Tel Aviv to Lisbon and returning immediately, but doing it would require two days flying, and I thought that could be too demanding for a person of my age. Notwithstanding, let me say that I have great saudade for you, very nostalgia for you at this moment. My heart is there with you in Lisbon, a city full of charm and beauty, as it says in the lyrics of an old song I used to sing when I was a child. Many years ago, I went to Lisbon with Max McCombs, another former Weeper president, to deliver some lectures on agenda setting at the Scuola Superior de Comunicação Social. Of course, we also devoted some sessions to content analyze some of the excellent Portuguese wines. Afterwards, in March 2005, I had the opportunity to organize a seminar on current perspectives in polling in the same school. Several WIPO members were speakers in the seminar. Kati Frankovic, Mike Trogot, Thomas Peterson, Nick Moon, and Alan McKitchen. We also had a meeting of the WIPO Executive Council. And at the end of the day, we went to a restaurant where an artist played and sang Canoa de Velarguida, small boat of straight sail with all the attendees joining him for the refrain. When Weyport was created, I was a little child, living in a small town in the north of Spain. My father was an engineer in a cannon factory. At that time, Wolfgang Donsbach had not yet been born. I would like to devote some words to him, as he has left us far too soon. In less than a year, I went to Dresden three times. The first time I went to celebrate Wolf's 65th birthday and his professional retirement as a professor when at an, uh, with an academic seminar. The papers presented and discussed in that seminar have been published in a book co-edited by Olaf Yandura, Thomas Peterson, and other German colleagues. The second time I went to Dresden was to take part in the burning of Wolf's ashes in the Johannes Friedhof, the Dresden Cemetery. I met Wolf for the first time in 1978 in Warsaw, where our friends had begun. For many years he came to my school to deliver speeches to our students. Certainly, and taking into account his characteristic display of energy, when I was with him for the last time, I thought that he was aging. But who could imagine the tremendous blow of his death some months after that? In the chapel of the Johannes Friedhof, where the funeral was held, there was a beautiful photograph of Wolf that Eva, his wife, gave me which now hangs on the wall of my school's public communication department. All the memories of that sunny day, like sunny Friday morning, 2015, August 14th, now come to my mind. The moving funeral in the chapel, with Baxter's prelude and Saraband, the Rolling Stones song, You Better Move On, Johan Baez's lead, we shall overcome. And the piece by Sergei Rasmaninov, sung by the Finnish born brilliant soprano Camilla Nero. All these things are still very clear in my recall. And also 
the long line of people that followed Eva and Tom on that sunny morning to make the last tribute to Wolf, covering his grave completely with unforgettable white roses. There were two easels with books to write some words. But I was removed that I only wrote a either saying and signed it. Finally, I went to Dresden to attend the academic ceremony to honor Wolfgang, since he had moved from Berlin to Dresden to create a communications department there. As many of you know, in the last few years, due to health requirements, I was scarcely involved in Wayport's life. Then, when I received the messages from Claire Durand and Marita Carvalho about this celebration, I felt a sort of awakening, a call to come back. And I am back. I was enthusiastic about the planning for this dinner, and you can imagine how painful it is for me at this moment to be so far away. Let me finish this message now with a toast. A toast for the vapor. A toast for all of you. A toast for a very successful conference. And a toast for my admired Claire and Marita. Thank you very, very much. I hope to see you soon.